now from Lisa Short, who uh, is the uh, founder um, and image consultant at Short Success. Lisa is an expert on personal brand building. Today she is going to make the case that phone skills truly impact profits in your business. Right. Tell us how. Everybody. I hear everyone here is now in my professional development workshop for five minutes. So I want everyone to pick up their phone and I want to know what was the last activity you did on your phone? Did you send a text? A social media message? Email? Did you even make a phone call? Hmm, I wonder. I'm sure the phone call wasn't in there. But I want you to know how profitable good phone skills are to a workplace. If we don't have good phone skills, we could be losing a lot of money. So an example, my children. The younger generation doesn't pick up the phone. My children the other day, the phone was ringing, brought me the phone in the shower. In the shower. So I ask all of you, do you love your company's phone skills? We train for grant writing, tech skills, but what about phone skills? So let's talk a little bit about being fired. Have any of you ever been fired because of your phone skills? My tech company has, and it feels awful. It's not fun, it lack, and we lost profits, so maybe you haven't been fired, but do you have any employees that sound like this on the phone? They're angry, they're curt toned, maybe they're disinterested. I see a lot of faces and a lot of nodding. Poor phone skills and a misunderstood tone can break many deals and you could lose profits. So be very <coughs> aware of your phone skills. So then, let's talk about that one employee that alienates the rest of your team. You have to make that call, but you don't want to because you know they're gonna scream at you. You know that they're gonna be disinterested or angry. Think about productivity lost. And heaven forbid, you have <coughs> reputational damage. I'm a brand expert, and I know that when reputational brand damage happens, it's very hard to regain that. So I ask you, how do you want to be perceived by others? When you look in the mirror, do you want to be perceived as fierce and a go-getter and bold? Think about your phone skills. Benefits of the phones, they create lasting bonds. When people hear friendly voices, they connect. Sales are based on trust, and when they hear a trusting voice, that's the foundation of making a sale. Phone skills can easily, having good <coughs> phone skills, easily turn around a misconstrued email. If you receive an email and you're not sure what the tone is, please pick up the phone and ask. Shameless plug for my children from years ago, but here are some tips. Sound upbeat, teach your team, that tone matters. Sound upbeat and friendly and jovial because it's a service call. Teach your teams to enunciate and speak slowly and clearly. There's nothing more frustrating than not being able to hear the caller on the other end, right? <coughs> right? So you want to make sure your team speaks clearly and slowly. Teach your team to be interested because every single phone call that comes into our office is service related that also relates to our salaries. The best tip I can give is use the caller's name. Teach your team to use your caller's name. Hello, Lynn, how can I help you? Thank you for your order, Lynn. There's nothing sweeter than hearing a person's name. Have a consistent script throughout your organization. Good morning, thank you for calling Shore Success. Lisa speaking, how can I help you? 
It's very helpful and consistent with your brand to have a script. Most importantly, teach your team to listen patiently before they respond. Too quickly, calls are transferred before really understanding what the message is. So if you guys teach your teams all of this, you will be winners, just like our Patriots. <coughs> Not last night, but just like our Patriots. So go Pat, and go you, and think about your profits by picking up that phone. So now, everyone pick up your phones again, make that call, and see your profits soar. I thank you so much. Come visit me at my table later.